From the top down, it's all about the absolute best winter workwear available. Plus, it's red versus yellow today in a new category of electric heated coat. We're going to use three criteria to help you decide which is right for yourself. Runtime, special features that each coat offers, and potential problems and issues. So let's get started. Top, this is my absolute favorite. This comes from one place, Fur Hat World. This is real beaver skin. This hat is not to be confused with the standard Mad Bomber or other name brand uh, hats that you can find. This is far superior to anything that's available out there. In fact, it may be as ugly as all get out, but there's a fight in my house who gets to wear this when it gets below zero degrees off. If you're looking for a hat, go to Fur Hat World, tell them Dirt Monkey sent you, and you'll get absolutely no special benefits, coupons, and I won't get anything either, but you will get yourself the best hat out there. This is real beaver, this is the real deal, this is the hat you want. Here's a little trick I want to share with you guys on these typical Russian style hats. You're wearing it bass backwards. Take the hat, and you take this front flap, and you pull it all the way down like that. You take these two side flaps, and then you put it on backwards. And what happens is, you look like a total dork, but this flap protects the back of your neck. These ear flaps now not only cover your ears, but they wrap all the way down and protect your chin and the side of your face as well. Much more effective. This is the way the Mongolians wore them. This is the way this Polak wears it. Let's get into the heated workwear section of this video. We have Milwaukee's 3-in-1 heated coat, and we have DeWalt's 3-in-1 heated coat. Runtime seems to be a big concern for a lot of people. DeWalt's coat runs off their 20 volt, 5 amp hour battery. This coat, on the highest setting, will give you 8 hours and 51 minutes of runtime. Now Milwaukee's 3-in-1 heated coat uses their 12 volt, 2 amp hour battery and that will give you only 2 hours and 15 minutes of runtime. You can bump that battery up from the 12 volt, 2 amp hour to the 12 volt, 3 amp hour and when you do that, you're going to get 3 hours and 51 minutes of runtime. A lot of people are complaining about the limited amount of runtime that the Milwaukee's coat has. But there is a solution to it. They have an adapter that allows you to use their M18 fuel batteries. This same 3-in-1 heated coat, using the adapter and an M18 5 amp hour battery, gives you 9 hours and 52 minutes of runtime. But here's something else that you can do. You can also use that adapter to plug it into their M18 9 amp hour battery. Let's see how that's going right now. This is the adapter that's sold separately. It allows you to use the M18 fuel batteries. Right now, we're 12 hours and 6 minutes into our test for runtime. This is the 9 amp hour battery, and we still have 50% battery power left on this thing. Runtime is no longer an issue as soon as you get this adapter. Now DeWalt and Milwaukee's 3-in-1 heated coats have special features unique to each brand. On DeWalt's, it's the cuffing system. So this thing is far superior, literally wrapping the cuff around your sleeve. This is great if you're snowmobiling or you're doing anything where you could be getting a lot of air blowing up your sleeves. This eliminates that. This DeWalt coat also has a cinching system at the bottom. This elastic right through here wraps it tight around your waist. But this is also one of the issues that this coat faces. In fact, this zippering system, you'll notice, doesn't have a protective flap that you can button over the top of it. And there's been many times that I've been wearing this coat to find that a little bit, littlest bit of pressure from the bottom opens it up and now instead of my coat zippering down, it's zippering up on me. So as I'm working, the bottom has come loose and I've got to struggle with the zipper to get it back down in place. This is not a unique problem to this one coat. In fact, if you read reviews 
A lot of people are having issues with the zipper. This is something that needs to be improved. Another thing about this 3-in-1 heated coat, a lack of insulation in the sleeves. As soon as this coat is great to about 20 degrees, but when the wind starts howling and the temperature starts dropping, you're gonna notice your core stays warm with the heated zones, but your arms get cold. There just isn't much insulation in these sleeves. This outer shell is an amazing material, but it doesn't offer any warmth. It's just for protection. All of the warmth with DeWalt's three-in-one heated coat comes from the heated hoodie inside. Another one of the potential issues that people are talking about is the actual battery pack placement. Now I found absolutely no problems with this battery pack. In fact, it's very tight and it's positioned in a key way that when I'm sitting in a truck, I don't feel it. When I'm doing my day-to-day -day operations, you can see that the battery is low enough that I'm not jabbing my elbow into it. The only time this battery placement has been a problem is running an excavator. A lot of you guys don't have excavators to run, so it's probably not going to be an issue for you guys at all. But what happens is I put the armrest down on the excavator, and this battery then hits right where the armrests go. So getting a little uncomfortable at that time. But other than that, I like the way that this stays tight, holds the battery firmly in place, Never had that any other issues with this DeWalt heated coat. Now Milwaukee's version on the other hand it has a pouch kind of like a kangaroo and the battery instead of being tight and locked into one position can slide around. This is good and bad. It allows you to adjust the battery when you have to if it's in the way but it also allows the battery to flop down and every time I sit in a truck I always find myself reaching back grabbing the battery lifting it up, moving it into place, and then sitting back down. Depends on whether you want that ability to move it or not, that's up to you. Another thing, Milwaukee has designed a hoodie that is what I consider to be the best in the industry. In fact, this hoodie is so tight to your head that when you wrap it up, when you zip it up, it feels like you're wearing a hat. I've never actually had a hoodie be as effective as this. This hoodie is designed to go underneath a hard hat, allowing you to put your hard hat over the top of it and keep your head that much warmer. By far in the industry, this is the best hoodie system that I've seen. All of their pockets, all of their cuffs have this rubber system on the top. This keeps your pockets from fraying and ripping. You'll also notice that on the Milwaukee coat, they do have the weather protection flap. The outer layer, does not cinch tight. It's the inner layer that does it, keeping the wind from blowing up. The outer layer does offer more insulation than the DeWalt version of their 3 and one heated coat. In fact, when temperatures hit zero degrees and the wind's howling at 20 plus miles an hour, their sleeving system has full insulation, the same as the coat, all the way down to your hands, making this a much warmer coat when the temperatures drop and you need that heat. Now we still have two coats to go and I consider these to be the dress work coat version. This is when you need a coat, you got to look sharp, but you still may have to pick up a hammer and accomplish something during the day. Now DeWalt's version of their heated coat still offers a cuffing system, but it doesn't cinch as tight as their three-in-one heated coat. The heated vert, the heated light button, the go buttons on the inside of the coat, meaning it's not an obstruction. Plenty of pockets. This is called their soft shell exterior. A lot of flexibility, a lot of movement, and it incorporates the same battery pouch, same battery placement, and it still locks in place. Now Milwaukee's version is a little bit different. They call this the tough shell exterior. And I don't know exactly what this stuff is made out of, but it's kind of like a rhino hide. It's flexible, it allows movement, but this is some of the toughest material that I have encountered. Now one of the things I don't like about Milwaukee's version of the heated coat is the buttons are on the outside, meaning if you want to stay warm, you're going to draw a lot of attention to yourself because when you're trying to talk to people, you inevitably see their eyes look down and you got to go, hey, no wait, my eyes are up here. It has the cinching cuffs similar to the DeWalt. These actually do go a little bit tighter than DeWalt's. For me, I really appreciate having tight cuffs. I hate having wind blow up my arms. The insulation on both the Milwaukee and the DeWalt dress workwear is the same all the way through the arms as it, as it is in the main cavity. Neither one of these coats offer a hood, but 
When you're going out to work and you want to look nice, these are an excellent choice to grab. Now whether you're a DeWalt fan or a Milwaukee fan, it doesn't make a difference because you're going to choose the coat that coincides with the tools that you run. Because the battery that runs your cordless tools also works in your coat. It's as simple as that. But the big question you should be asking yourself is, are the heated coats worth the extra cost? If you're out working in the cold, you're probably not even going to be using the heat in the coat. But these coats are next gen on all scales. They put a lot of research and development into making these coats, just the unheated portion of these coats, far superior to what's, what else is out there on the market. But it's nice when you stop working to have a button that you can hit and warm up. These are the perfect coats to use if you're going to be going to a football game, or you're going to be sitting in a deer stand all day long, or if you have a job that, that you have to work, 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 you build up a sweat and then you stop and that cold starts to creep in, you hit a button and you heat right up. That's when the heated feature really becomes worth it. Now we're on our way down to the bottom and you see that I've got a few things sitting on this table in front of me. I have been a fan of bibs my entire life. Problem is, I've always found them to be bulky, cumbersome. I kind of feel like the tin man that needs some oil. My wife made me the mistake of buying me a pair of Duluth Flex Fire Hose Insulated Pants. And I say it's a mistake because when she bought them for me, she didn't realize it was going to be the only pair of pants that I wear from November 1st till April 15th. These are the absolute most comfortable pants. It's like wearing a pair of pajamas outside. Absolutely phenomenally comfortable. I highly recommend that you go to Duluth Trading Company and pick yourself up a pair of Flex Fire Hose Insulated Pants if you don't already have them. Now it's your turn. Tell me what your absolute favorite outdoor workwear is. And if I can get my hands on a set of that, I'll put it to the test. God bless. Go get them. Stay warm, my brothers and sisters. Yeah.